this is Lush. This is the Flamingo Egg. This is their bath bomb. I have them label it because I did not want to mislabel and misinform. So let's just open it up like a little present. If this ain't the damn prettiest, look at this. Those of y'all that love pink would love the shit out of this. Actually, this is one of the cutest. <laughs> it got me off the presentation. And Lush knows how to make some cute bath bombs. They make some that stink too. Because <laughs> I've seen, smelled, and the start, I was like, oh, uh-uh, no. No. I don't care how relaxing this shit is. It stank. This actually smells cute. It kind of smells like cotton candy. In a sense. I don't know if that's where what, what they were expecting to make it smell like, look like. It looks, it's in the shape of an egg. But don't this look like some cotton candy with the pink and the blue and then the... It's still cute as hell. It just looks like a cotton candy to me. But I'm going to put it back in the bag so it can be all cute. And y'all can see one more time just so y'all can see what this look like. And once again, this is the Flamingo Egg from Lush. Got a little spicy smell, like a little cinnamon might be up in there. And I know herbs. But let me read the ingredients to see, because they put, it says on the thing right here, is any cinnamon in this? Ooh. No, there's no cinnamon in it, but it's got some essential oils in it. And I don't know if there's like a, Something, it's got a lemon oil in it. It does smell like it has a hint of cinnamon in it. So something, somewhere must be in the cinnamon family. Because I know I smell some cinnamon. It, don't say it on the ingredient list, but I know I ain't crazy. <laughs> it smells, my nose picked up a hint of some cinnamon. That's one of the standout scents it smells. I'll keep looking at the ingredients like you sure there's no cinnamon in that? Because I know what I'm smelling. But for now, I'll say that's it. And then y'all will see it when you see it with the water. Because that's going to be the real test. How does it look like in the water? It could be beautiful. It could smell good. But if that color sucks, I'm going to say it. Because some of them be smelling all good. You put it in that water, you say it. <laughs> so... But I think because of the blue and the pink, it's going to be a pretty ass color. I'm actually excited. The next few bath bombs I have, I don't think I'm going to be as excited. They better smell good or something. All right, I'm going to talk to y'all a little later, my fans. Bye. Whoa. Okay, can this, my camera come on here? Hold on. I'm gonna... All right, perfect. Here we go. Flamingo egg, y'all. Look at this color. Ain't it gorgeous? Oh, sorry, y'all. My arm was in a damn way. I am loving this. I mean, the pink, the blue, the little, it had the little rhinestones on it. Some of them kind of fill in the bag, but I could always get those and throw it in the water. Right Look at this. The way it is displaying, this is one, and then it smells so good. It smells like cotton candy to me. This is definitely a fun spring and summertime one. I hope that they keep this around. This is a good one. Because y'all know Lush has been, <laughs> they love to change out their bath bombs. Like every single few seasons, so. If I want this again, I'm going to have to hurry up and get another one before 
it goes away, but I'm curious to see what new ones Lush does have. I think Target does have seasonal ones too. So my favorites, I'll be going through them. And I'm always curious to see which ones they have. So please stay tuned for May because in May, I'm gonna have some, probably some interesting bath bombs because you know, Mother's Day will be coming up in like two good weeks. So I wanna see what they got as well. All right, Hoffman, I'll definitely talk to y'all later. Thank y'all for supporting.